Okay, so if you remove the screw from the bottom of your Zircon stud sensor, this is how to reassemble it. This particular model is a Stud Sensor Pro SL. They're probably not all exactly the same, but probably for the most part, uh, this will be useful. First thing you want to do is if it's completely disassembled, take the bottom piece, the flatter piece, and then the circuit board, and line it up with the screw hole, making sure that the contacts are on the other side of this plastic guide. Next thing you want to do is take the button and slide it into the slot here, lining it up with the switch. You can test it. That's good. Next thing you want to do is test the orientation of the battery. It only goes one way and this does only take 9 volt batteries. You can see here on the end the polarity is etched in the plastic but you can test it pretty quickly by sliding the battery in. If you don't get any lights, it's oriented the wrong way. So just flip it over, test it again, and that's good. Now take the battery out, set it aside, and then take your spacer, put it on the other side of the contacts, oriented the same way as the polarity, the way you had the battery oriented before. Next step is to take the top cover, and then you want to slide the bottom piece underneath the front clips that has to go in first and then it should go back together really smoothly once it is just take the screw and put it back in once that's secure take your battery put it in the slot you can test the polarity again. Then take your belt clip slash battery cover, line it up with the guides, slide it down until it clips, and then you should be good to go. There it is. And then for future reference, to replace the battery, flip this over and then just pull apart the clip that holds on the belt clip slash cover and slide it off. Take the battery out and then put a new one in and then the same reassembly of this slide it over the guides till it clips in and that's it